So yes, family, we left low and we are right back here. Low. So you remember we left the spoon in there. So we have us look at it. Get right in camera, girl. Come right in. We left it, and you see it's it gets soft. So as we start to mush, it start to get going on. And if you all know anything about bread pudding, it look like we're making bread pudding, but we're not making a bread pudding. So we're going to spice up this little baby. We have the last, so we look a yellow almond. We're not, we're not, it's low, you know, the key is low. So we're not stop for, um, to measure. Okay, y'all, we have a little grated nutmeg inside here. And we're going to get out about, about that. Because, you know, I told you, low and the nutmeg. Yeah. We have the cinnamon powder here. Mm -hmm. And we're going to get about, like... We don't want any more than this because this is this is the size pudding we're doing. If there's a bigger pudding, you can use more. Cinnamon is strong. Mix spice. Cinnamon is strong when too much of it is used. Mix spice when too much is used. It's bitter. Bitter. Okay, you all. So this is what we're using in mix spice. No more to the size or to the amount that we're mixing up. Okay, we have a little piece of ginger here. Yeah, you know, pudding, potato pudding and come Miss Who, hello. We're going to line up the right one for you when the thing is right. So we're going to grate a, a little bit of our ginger right here. Not a lot. So gig it up. Try to use fresh ginger at all times. I always say that as opposed to the ginger powder. We have a little bit of, um, just about a... Uh, Yes, tablespoon and a half of melted butter. Yes, to give it up a bit. Mm -hmm. We want to put a little salt, but we're not quite ready for the salt as yet. And I'm going right over here. And this here is one of my containers that I use to soak my fruits in. And this has been here from, from we did the Easter bun journey. So we're going to dump it right in. So I'm making way now to clean my container because from one thing to another, we're riding and we say, we are going to pick up on the Jamaican black cake journey. I bought my fruits and I'm going to pick up on that journey. So you got to keep your notifications on. This is a little cured wine and something, something. So look here, we're blending them in. Right here, I took out some raisins that I just bought like yesterday. They were dehydrated, so I left them in a little water to soak. And I've been, I've, they have been rehydrated, so I'm going to dump them in there right just now. Okay, these are fresh raisins. If you have ones that were soaked, if I had enough in that, I would have used those. So we're going to put this little tea in. And we're going, we're going to stop for a bit. I hope you're not confused. We'll be using our toaster oven. Why? All you have big oven. I have a big oven. You don't want to. Is this what I'm putting into you know? Yeah. And I'm going to tell you why I'm making it into this as we go along. I say low key. So I want you to follow me on while going along. Low key. And low key also means you want the pudding for ready quick, fast. Because I'm hungry at all. Hello? Yeah. So we are going to preheat our oven right here. You know this goes for, I'm not sure if all of them go from an hour thing. Yeah, so we're going to preheat it. We're going to set it to, let me tell you the temperature, lower and key. You got to know the temperature on the channel. Mm -hmm. So we're going to set it at 375 degrees Fahrenheit. That is, this is Fahrenheit. If you're using Celsius, it would be like uh, one, it would be like. I soon tell you if you're using Celsius because we need to get along here on the channel. Right here, I have some coarse cornmeal. I choose to use the coarse cornmeal. I prefer that one. So if you have your refined, go ahead. I prefer to use the, the coarse one. It's more stronger. Those refined ones, they are too weak for me. They don't have any power in them. Cornmeal is something that have a lot of power. I drink a lot of cornmeal porridge and I like my cornmeal with substance. So we're using about this cornmeal. And this looks like the same amount of sugar we use. And this cornmeal is like, it is a little less than a pound. So we're going to sieve it out in a container right here. Yeah, we're sieving it out. 
we're trying to get it on the finer side okay you all so we're sieving it out it's a low key thing you know so we just want knock we straight alongside the container but low key this is how you roll when it's snow so we're trying to get this out real fast here and looking at the amount of cornmeal we have mm -hmm. so this is what we're doing right here and when we get it all sifted out we're gonna put it in this container so let us continue sifting out and don't use any strainer with any bigger holes or sift use this one because you want to get it properly sift because if you use something with bigger holes you know what is gonna happen right there you're gonna get all the coarse grains that you need not to get in there you're gonna need it and i'm showing you because i wanted to sift it out till it looks like this these are all coarse we don't need those okay so we have so we're going to put the dry cornmeal inside here right here and now we are going to taste now we don't taste yet you know we're going to taste for our flavor that we have been preheated and we're going to put this thing right inside here we want to get it a little heat up because we're going to use our spray to spray the kitchen is getting real heated fam because this thing is hot so I need to get my fan on again because it's heated and you're gonna hear the extra thing in the background so you know it's gonna be the fan okay y'all so we're in on these things every little thing in and I'm gonna link for you all in the description what I used so you notice me not with no measurement and all them something yeah because this is a low-key thing we want to taste right here and now for remember this is a pudding you know you don't put baking powder and them things inside a pudding so we want to taste for the little flavor because we have used all that we have we don't have not more so we're tasting to see if we get a little flavor right here for this little pudding so yeah and guess what pudding one little tip more sugar like about that in a sugar yeah Sugar done, low key, sugar done. So we're gonna dissolve this sugar right here and now. And we're gonna need a little salt to bring up the taste. So we're gonna go low first with this. And we are gonna dissolve to see if we get this little taste in Okay, y'all? Mm -hmm. It's not a lot, so it should be easily dissolved. Okay. I taste so much salt Sam, because the salt was on my hand and my hand is wet. So I have just this taste terrible. I don't know people eat things that are salty. My hand was sort of damp, so some of the salt was left back in there. Let me get the right taste now. Here we go. Flavor up. Sugar, good. If you like your thing sweet, up to you. Look at the color that we have. And we have the cornmeal right here. So we're gonna come right here now. And we're gonna throw a little at a time because we can put the cornmeal in there. It will come lumpy. Okay, y'all? So it's liquid alternately into this dry thing here. So this is what we're going in this is how we're going in and look at the color this is the color that we want for the cornmeal pudding okay y'all so now look at this all the cornmeal has been dissolved in this so we can now return to sender by pouring everything in this one thing right here low key so we're gonna stir we don't fall and cut with the pudding thing you see we just stir this is it y'all yes this is the consistency and you know one of all tough rust old crofty pudding we can come walk on your stomach you see so this is what we have low key you saw me low key Good to go. Now, look at what is happening here. 
we have our bunt. We're using this bunt. And we're going to close back up when we want too much of the heat getting out. So, we're using the bunt because it has this thing in the middle. Now, when you're baking, the last part to be properly baked is the middle. We want this food here because we kind of hungry and we have nothing more to eat, so we are move fast on the pudding. So you're going to use a bunty. It will go faster because this part here will not. It will just go. You know what I'm talking about. It will just go around. Okay? So, it is non-stick, but I prefer to grease still. So, we're going right in. Now remember how you do it, you know. There is a thing in the middle, so you got to know what you're doing. Okay? Yeah, and this is how it looks. And we look like we don't want to go no more. We don't want to go much more. So, we're going to get to our thing. It's still hot right in here. And this little, you don't have to throw it away. You get a small container, canister with cover, and you can freeze it. And you can put it in your refrigerator or your, the, 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 um, the, the fridge freezer or the deep freeze. Because that there, it will be going on the returns tray. So we're going clean right around here. And we're going right in. Yup, right in. If you have your other oven, this is 475. Sorry, 375. So we're talking about like 185, 190 Celsius. This is 475. Sorry, I keep saying 4. Why? It's 375 Fahrenheit. So it's like about 190 Celsius. Okay? You can use this too. But I choose to use this because my oven is big. I use gas. And to put this, I think I'm just wasting my gas. Gas, dear fam. In Jamaica, gas is expensive. So we have it right in there. We, this goes for an hour. We are 10 minutes. So we are 50 minutes in there. But it's supposed to be left for about an hour. So when the timer is off, comes off, we have got to listen, any time the time that goes, goes off, you know, it dings and make a song. So when it goes off, we'll come back and reset it for another, probably about 15 minutes, I would say. So that is in there, that is going on. What I should have told you, I did not remember, so I had to do it. I had to take out a little of the milk, because we're going to need to make a little wetty wetty something for the top. So now, this little wetty wetty thing, the soft top as they call it, but in Jamaica we say you look a wetty wetty something panta. So what what you what you do to achieve that now is to use some of the milk, whether the better whether it be the coconut milk, whatever the milk you use, you, you leave it and you're gonna put some sugar. So I'm gonna use two tablespoons of sugar, eight tablespoons to dissolve in there, and during the time, probably about another 40 minutes in the baking, we're coming back to look how we put in steer, if it take in set, and we're going to dissolve the sugar, and we're going to start, we're going to proceed to start putting this little wetty wetty something on the top. So by the time we come up, the sugar will be dissolved, and all of that. Okay, y'all? So now, remember, it's a low-key cornmeal pudding. And when I say low, you all know what I mean. Have you ever been home? You're a mom, you're a wife, not in the yard for eat. And don't get what happened. Kids coming home from school, or they come from work, they gotta do something. Low key, low. 